Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Captain Foley and it is time for another Captain Foley product review. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at a ship from Eagle Moss. This is the USS Discovery. Now the front of the box is very nicely done. Uh, you got USS Discovery there, the registry number, the picture of the model, uh, the UFP symbol. Uh, the new UFP symbol for um, Discovery is actually kind of nice. I like it. It looks very reminiscent of the one you see in the motion picture era. Um, so that's very cool. Um, I think that's good. Discovery there and it creeps around to the side and then you've got it on the side of the box there. This side has got that picture of the model and the the words there is Star Trek Discovery. And there you've got this, that and there is that. So these boxes are actually very nice. The Eagle Moss boxes which is upside down. The Eagle Moss boxes are a fantastic display piece. If you want to keep the ship in here and not display it of the room you can always stack them up um, whatever way you can see the ship so you get a nice re visual representation uh, while it's still in the box or if you just want to store the box separately you can do so as well and have the model out uh, free so there it is in the box now I'm not a super huge fan of the Discovery design. Uh, I think a few small changes would have made it better. And usually when you see a ship in person or you get to hold it or experience it in 3D and you can turn it around, you generally get a new appreciation for it, either good or bad. So we're going to take a look at this and see what I think. So open it up and it's the standard, you know, styrofoam there. So you lift that off. And there you see the Discovery nestled nice and securely. You've got the stand there and the other part of the stand which we will look at in a moment. I'll actually just take this out right now. So there's the on the bottom of the stand it has the ship name and um, registry and then the, 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 the number of the ship. So alright so here she is now one of my favorite views of the Discovery has always been from the side. Um, there's the top, bottom, front, and the back. I have had a chance to look at this prior, um, so I do know what I want to say about it. Uh, I kind of lose a little bit of respect for this ship in particular when I hold it. It's so slim down and skinny, it just doesn't feel right, um, it doesn't feel bulky. I like the uh, original um, Discovery we saw in the San Diego, in the uh, Comic-Con um, teaser that we got, the, the, we call it the Discovery Alpha with the fatter nacelles that you know, ended here and then came out further. Uh, I thought that was nicer. These trail off way too far. These should really be cut like right there, I think, to make it better. Um, so overall, I'm not super, super impressed. I mean, the model's fine, the model's great, except for the saucer there is, it kilters down this way. And I've talked to a few different people and they all have that slight kilter which as a model maker really bugs me because I like my nacelles straight and I like my saucer in line with the nacelles and this one it just doesn't have that. It's got a little bit of a, a tilt. When you're looking at it from the back it tilts to the right and when you're looking at it from the front of course it tilts to the left. Sorry about that. Some technical issues with the dogs. Daughter came home. Um, so yeah as I was saying the, the saucer is a little off kilter uh, which bugs me to no end. I just want to fix it, but I can't because it'll probably break. Um, the impulse engines don't really ring true to the show, I don't think. They don't really have this, the same look, but that's just, it could just be me. Um, so overall, this is, it's a, it's a neat model of the Discovery. If you love the Discovery, you should get this model. It's a fairly decent size. It's bigger than most of the Eagle Moss ships. Um, but, you know, these don't spin, not that that's a bad thing, um, but you gotta be careful of the little nacelle, or not nacelle, the, uh, 
deflector tip there uh, that could easily snap off. Um, it still looks really cool from the side, but it's super skinny when you get the model in your hand, and that kind of bugs me a little bit. Uh, I wish the nacelles tipped up a little bit, or had a part on the strut that kind of did a even a 45 degree angle, just so the cells the cells could be up. I think that would really add to the dynamicness of this design. Um, but overall, the the ship and the the model. Um, from Eagle Moss is pretty good. I do have some complaints about, like I said, the saucer. And other than that, I mean, everything's pretty spot on. The windows, a few of them are a little offset, but that's kind of par for the course for Eagle Moss. Um, and the aztec on the hull is very minimal. You can see a little bit of the aztec look, look, um, which is cool because uh, we know that kind of came in in the motion picture that wasn't really around in TOS. So I don't have an issue with that per se, um, but overall, pretty neat little model and worth a go if you have the, the, the funds to grab one. I would definitely suggest getting one from Eagle Moss. Um, if you do want to do that, you can actually use our discount code. There's a link in the description below that takes you to the Eagle Moss site. So if you want to shop around, you, de you can definitely do that. If you click the link, um, it'll take you straight there uh, so you don't have to worry about Googling it or anything. Uh, so click the link in the description below, go check it out, see if there's anything you want to order. Any orders of $60 or more, if you use the code TREKYARDS, all one word, uh, T-R-E-K-Y-A-R-D-S, TREKYARDS, um, enter that code in and you'll get 10% uh, off any orders of $60 or more, which will help you out, help us out, and just really make for um, a good beneficial mutual relationship. <laughs> Um, Eagle Moss has been super kind to, to send me these uh, to take a look at and review and show you guys and I really appreciate the, the, the fact that they did that. So thank you Eagle Moss, um, thank you everyone involved and thank you you guys for um, just, just go check out the site. Um, like I said, click the link, go and uh, browse around. There's a lot of cool things to get. I got a lot more reviews I got to do and I'm going to be uh, knocking those off soon. So. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews of Eagle Moss ships, plaques, books, things like that. Anything from Eagle Moss, I'll be looking at it and giving you my honest thoughts on it. So, overall, great model. I mean, if you're a Discovery fan and you love this ship, you're going to love the model. But I kind of have less respect for the ship now, personally, just holding it in my hands. Um, there's just a few issues with it that really need to be addressed and corrected, in my opinion. Um, but it's still a neat design, um, and it would have worked for a you know post Voyager, post Nemesis kind of Starfleet look or a Star Trek Online look. It definitely works for that. But as for ten years before Kirk and Spock, no sir, I don't think so. But anyway, pretty cool model. So go check it out, order it if you want. Um, like I said, these Discovery ones are a nice size. I'll be looking at the Shenzhou soon, and. Uh, give you my thoughts on that so there you go I'm just gonna set it up on the stand now do a quick um, look at it on the stand and uh, that'll call this a wrap so thank you for watching guys all right guys so there she is on the stand she looks really good from certain angles um, even I have to admit she looks good from certain angles if you have it on a shelf that's too high though you're not gonna see much of it uh, same if it's sitting kind of eye level and sitting towards you um, I really prefer the top-down look, so if you can set it on a lower table, I think that looks really kind of fantastic, to be honest. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out if you're a Discovery fan. Let's get some nice shots of it actually on the stand, which is really nice. So, anyways, there you have it, guys. Um, like I said, definitely um, check out the link down below in the description. Go check out some of the other Eagle Moss ships they have. 
If you live in Canada, they will be shipping to Canada shortly, probably end of June or July-ish. They will let us know, so stay tuned for that as well on this channel. We will keep you guys updated, and uh, we look forward to doing more Eagle Moss reviews and just looking at all the cool stuff they got. So until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley. This has been a Captain Foley product review, and uh, we'll see you guys in the future. Bye, everybody.